If you didn't know, the universe is way bigger than you think. Bigger than your booty. Bigger than your mama. Oh, that's big. There's more stars in the galaxy than there are grains of sand on the earth. And we about to check it out. So boy, you bid. Get that out of here. If you want to rule the galaxy with me, then please just click the subscribe button within five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? Okay, all right, we're good, we're good. And yeah, comment down below, what's the first thing you'd do if you could travel the universe? Would you go to a parallel universe? Would you talk to aliens? Or would you use the bathroom on a different planet? Let me know, and let's go. Let's talk about parallel universes. A parallel universe is a planet almost identical to Earth with some almost unnoticeable changes. People believe we can travel between universes and apparently Siri agrees. I asked Siri how many days until 2020. This is how she replied. Is, wait, wait, what? Um, did we change universes? Did we? What do you think? Uh, we did. How many days until 2022? And she replied, it's 286 days until 2022. I thought it was 23. There are theories that we have gone to a parallel universe. Do you ever remember something that existed, but it's not quite the same? Like the book, The Bearstein Bears. I thought it was The Bear Stain Bears, not The Bear Stein Bears. Or the cereal Fruit Loops. I thought it was spelled fruit like F R U. UIT, but no, it's double O. That's, That's what, what they, they call, call the, the Mandela, Mandela effect. effect. We went to a parallel universe where everything looks the same except a couple minor details. Like Fruit Loops! The entire universe in just 20 seconds. Okay, so we start on Earth. Here we go, okay. That's us! Guys, we're right there. Oh. Wait, what? It just keeps zooming out. Oh my gosh. See, look at all those stars. That's crazy. And that's just our galaxy. And if you keep going back, there's a buttload of other galaxies. Oh, what? It didn't even, it, it, that's how far it go, gosh dang. All that, we can't even travel that far. That's the sad thing. We can't even get to Mars. Hurry up, Elon Musk. These are the scariest things ever found in space, part one. Up first are animal corpses. This makes sense because the first ever test subjects to make it to space were a monkey and a dog. But the creepy thing is, their corpses are still floating in space as we speak, and many astronauts who go to space often see them just floating around. Next up are faces on the surface of Mars. This is very scary because we have yet to find life on Mars, but this could be evidence of giants on Mars. But honestly, this could either be a pile of rocks or a fossilized face of a giant. Either way, it's still extremely creepy. Wait, what? No! You're telling me there's dead dogs doting around in space? Just dog bodies floating around the earth? That's bad, man. That's bad. I mean, geez. Why don't y'all make a commercial about that? For 50 cents a day, you could save a doggy astronaut. Or you could just let his body keep floating around. That's messed up. Poor pebbles. Somebody do something. Gosh dang it. Well, it's a little too late, but you know. Give him a proper burial. Dang. Earth is large, but the universe is large. Okay, we got Venus, Earth, there we are, that's us, okay, Kepler, dang, Jupiter, Saturn is that big, gee, and then Jupiter's bigger, and our sun is that, oh, okay, all right, what the heck, there's suns that are just a million times larger than the Earth, as if the Earth wasn't big enough, and then if you zoom out on all of that, don't tell me there's something even bigger, that's what she said, there are many hundreds of a billions a star what the look at all these dang galaxies no okay and that's the universe and then there's probably other universes all right dr strange jeez if the universe is that big that means there's got to be life on other planets there has to be aliens they're out there we're just super far away from them what do you think the aliens look like do you think they have a butt on their face like instead of having the butt down here i, I don't know maybe they talk from down here Ugh. here are the spookiest things in space and they just get scarier don't talk about your mom like that Ooh. 
okay. There are giant voids in space which contain far fewer galaxies than there should be, and hypothetically these voids can combine and get bigger and bigger. These voids are the emptiest of the emptiness of space. It's the loneliest place in the universe. Nothing can survive on Venus. It's too hostile. The longest any spacecraft has ever survived is only two hours. There are many hypotheses about potential life on Venus or in its atmosphere, but it doesn't let us close enough to study it. This NASA graphic shows the orbits of all of the potentially hazardous asteroids. These aren't even just the asteroids we know about. These are only the potentially bad ones. There are black holes wandering around space. They're so stealthy that they're nearly impossible to detect. Our galaxy alone is estimated to have about 12 free-floating black holes. The most powerful explosions in space happen suddenly, and if one was close enough to harm us, we wouldn't know until it reached Earth. Gamma ray bursts are thought to have caused mass extinctions on Earth in the past. Oumuamua is the first interstellar object to pass through our solar system, and it was observed speeding up not as the result of gravity, which could be a few things, but some astronomers are convinced it's an alien craft. I told you aliens are out here, man. They, they drive in spaceships that look like rocks. Oh, y'all think y'all slick. You aliens thought you was slick. <laughs> nice try. We done caught you. In 4K, baby. The Oumuamua. Is this a Hawaiian rock or something? Like, what's going on? Girl, I'm gonna need you to get your facts straight, okay? Like, like, is this the correct name or not? This girl's looking at me like she wants to take me out on a date. You can pick me up at 7 o'clock in the morning, okay? So, <laughs> you better wake up and you better grab your coffee. And I'll grab you some coffee. Which one makes you the most uncomfortable? Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh, heck no. Ah, the shark. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, okay, yeah, that one. Oh, no. Mm -mm, no. It's called megalophobia. Fear of giant things. Oh, those are the aliens right there. The aliens, yeah, they about to <laughs> abduct and experiment on your booty. Or, I mean, your body. Also, maybe your booty. I, I don't know. Oh, you will not believe a planet like this actually exists in our galaxy. It's got some weird scientific name i can't remember i'll put it right there and it's about 63 light years away from us and it's nicknamed the reigns of terror and trust me there's a reason for that so this planet is bigger than jupiter which is the biggest planet in our solar system and it is hauling like this thing is ripping around its sun making a full orbit every two days that means an entire year on this planet is only 48 hours and you know honestly looking at this photo right here it don't look so bad right kind of blue kind of earth-like looking kind of friendly you know but nah it gets bad so first of all it's like 1200 degrees celsius or something on this planet so you'll just be burning your off the whole time. Ugh. Second of all, the wind on this planet is insane, going around at 8,700 kilometers an hour or 5,400 miles per hour, which is seven times the speed of sound. So if you landed on this planet, you would just be getting bodied 24 seven. The worst part, whoa, 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 we're getting there. Scientists have discovered that the silicate particles in the atmosphere combined with a high heat actually creates a climate that rains glass sideways because of all the wind. So on top of getting rocked by all the wind, you'd also be getting absolutely shredded by shards of glass. Hey, yeah, that don't sound like a good time at all. This Planet death ain't no winner. Keep looking, guys. Ch ch this planet definitely ain't no winner. Uh, yeah, yeah, you think? And what the heck? Why'd you have to put this black man in the background? This black man decided to visit that planet. Bad idea. You better get it together. And the next time I see you, white man, you better shave your beard. But a planet that rains glass. Uh, gosh dang. I guess I'll just mark that off of my vacation spot. Instead, I'm going to your mom's house, and you can let her know I like my sandwich with the crust cut. Uh, I'm kidding, uh, guys. It's, 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 it's I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, because like, yo, moms usually like to make a, you know, a lunch, a sandwich, okay, anyway. This has to be the most terrifying view from a toilet in the whole what? world. Imagine sitting to use the bathroom with that giant hideous head staring I don't right sit. at you. But it gets much more disturbing. It's located in a bar in Tokyo, Japan. And when you sit on the toilet seat, it activates the mechanism. Creepy music fills the room and the head slowly creeps towards you until it kisses your knees. I'd feel a bit violated. Watch this woman try it for herself. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's getting close! <laughs> that thing just moves towards you and then kisses your knee. What are you doing? Pervert? I'm gonna need you to get up on out of here. That's bad, man. This is in Japan. I would have thought this was on a different planet. Bro, I had to slap the mole off your face because it is a disgrace. 
But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one.